Hey, good evening. Um, tonight I'm doing another UAT Unisonis tribute. Today I am very excited about this video. This video, a year ago, today, was released one of the best things to ever grace the pages of YouTube. It was a video called One Man 100 Accents, and it had a goofy little thumbnail of like Eef galaxy brain style with all of the country flags behind him and the actual video was not even close <laughs> like it was just so goofy and so random and like it seemed it had that vibe that they like filmed it at the end of a long day and they just like kind of were like just scrambling for for content and figuring out what they were doing and like Eve is just unhinged ADD brain sweetheart he is and Mark is an excellent I think he's I think he's behind the camera for most of this I don't remember him being really like in the video so much as just asking Ethan questions like oh do this kind of accent or whatever or like talking to Alexa sorry I'm like playing with my bangs and trying to figure out if I want to cut them because they're just like crazy um <clears throat> anyways so uh this video I think was excellent I it it's I remember what I remember of it I wish I remembered it more it was one I really wish I could have saved I loved this one um all I wrote as a footnote just so that I could remember the most important part I wrote fucking baby hands, m and m shit, and then a laugh emoji emoticon <laughs> style doodle. Um, so that was like what I took away. What I remember too is he, they started the video. I feel like the video just like, boom, cold open to Mark asking, do an Austrian accent. And Eve launches full on into the gaudiest worst Australian accent you could possibly imagine. And it was just like, I don't know if he realized his mistake. I don't know if it was ever addressed in that video whatsoever. But um, he just did a, Australia, a bad Australian accent, might I add, instead of even acknowledging an Austrian accent. Which, if I'm correct, so I've done a little bit of accent work myself, not to <laughs> brag or anything. But um, I studied with... Uh, Oh my gosh, what's her last name now? Paula. She was Paula Carter. I don't know if she still goes on that um, for professional reasons, but I'm pretty sure she got remarried or married recently. But anyways, Paula does some excellent accent work, and you can find her at accentcolors.com if that's still her web address. She trains actors to do accents, and I got to study with her, so I take that as a huge honor. She's done like accent work for people who have done video games. I think she did some accent work with an actor that was in like Wolfstein 2 um, and a few others. So she's always posting about the amazing people she's working with. So I, I take that as a huge honor to have worked with her. And um, I always kind of like reconsider going back in accents. It's just, it's a lot of work to get it just right. And like, you can hit some of the key sounds, but if you want to have it be really convincing, like you, you almost have to study any particular accent for like, I don't even know, like a month or months even. Um, it's really hard to get that stuff consistent. So anyways, that aside, um, I think an Austrian accent though, I'm pretty sure it's kind of like a softened, softened German accent is like kind of the impression I get. I'm pretty sure I actually worked with somebody who was Austrian um, back at my full-time job. She was one of the main researchers and she had such a fascinating vocal quality and I really uh, appreciated that like we could sometimes hear her um, speak and I'm not going to even try to give a crack at it cold like that but like it, it's just it's it's a nice it's a nice delicate but very um very pronounced not very pronounced but like it's it's just like a, a a a flavorful European sort of accent. I don't know how else to say it, um, but it was it was really great. So, anyways, I just thought that was really funny that Eve just went full on Australian. I don't even know if he acknowledged that Austrian accent is wi wildly different. Um, so, anyways, and then there was that, and I feel like they kind of like goofed around with a few other accents that Ethan couldn't do, and then 
the most important part is I don't know how or why, but like Mark was like, do an Italian accent. I don't even know if Eve gave it a, I don't even remember if he gave it an honest go or not, but he went upstairs and then he got the baby hands from the previous videos where they were missing with the baby hands for like operation or for the speed stacks. He got the baby hands and he had his hoodie all pulled up, the little, the little baby hands sticking out and had Eminem's Lose Yourself playing while he was like lip syncing with these baby hands. And it was just so, there's <laughs> something just so cold about it, so random and so it is like, I can't, words cannot. So since words are failing me, I'm gonna do what I do best and mix a beverage to commemorate this sweet, sweet baby boy. Um, I have here, I'm trying to think how I wanna do this. So I was thinking to commemorate and to see off this wonderful, beautiful video. I am going to make a shot but it might be a sippable. I don't know if I want to put this on the rocks or just like try to, um, I'm trying to figure out if I would like this to be, I'm going to sip it. I'm going to savor it just as I savored every favorite moment of Unis Anis. And just as you should savor every second because the clock is always ticking, is it? it? So let's pull this one. I got these glasses, so I'm going to show this off a little bit too. I got this glass as well as a few others really amazing glassware. I got these from Third Degree Glass Factory. They're in St. Louis. Um, I think they still, you think you can still buy their glassware? I don't think their gallery is open. I like that sunset side. Um, but you can still buy their glassware. I don't know if you have to like go on their social media or website or whatever. They're on Instagram. They always have really cool stuff they post. Um, they have several artists that make glass for them and they sell it and whatever, da 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 da. They used to before quarantine happened. They had these third Fridays events where you could get cocktails and watch the glass blowers do demos and they even had like some like kind of uh I don't know if vaudeville's correct, but some fix and deville style people, fire fire eaters, fire fire benders. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> that's not right. But um like they would do the fire dancers. I don't know. They would do all this incredible stuff with fire. And it was just really cool that they had that nice little venue. So they're a local St. Louis art company. And I love these glasses. These are from the, I guess it's like a duo called Snazzy. Um, they, or they're Snazzy glasses. I'm not sure if it's the artist like name and I'm pretty sure it's like a couple or so, so it's a couple of people that do these um but they do these really amazing glasses and I like these a lot and I'm going to talk about that while I'm building this cocktail so I like these a lot because um one of the things they they say they have like a little uh placard with every piece of art that you get getting the fancy cubes too um and one of the things they kind of put up by these glasses is that they, they and, and by their artwork in general, is they relish the, um, the imperfections. And like, if you look at this, like, you can't see with my camera, but like, if you look at it, like, there's a lot of bubbles in this glass. It's very irregular. It's very imperfect. And I think I actually, when I was cleaning, I, I hand wash my dishes when I was cleaning one of these, I actually like cut my knuckle open. But like, um, you know, it's, there's something about relishing the beauty and imperfection in things. And this actually is like, I guess also a technically poorly made glass because the bottom of it is very heavy. This is like a very heavy glass. And like if you have like a very well spun glass, it should be very thin and very light and very well balanced. And like these are anything but, but I think they are incredible. And I think they're really beautiful. And I think that's something else to be celebrated. So for 90, for 99, sorry. <laughs> Here's where reading and my brain doesn't. Uh, say what I mean to. So anyways, for 100 accents, all contained within one man, I thought I would do a bit of a, a nod to that. I have some 99 mangoes here, and I was thinking, what else is on my bar that has a one? And I was like, I have melon, liqueur, melon, me on one, meh. and I was like, da -de da -de da guess what? I have some. Pim's number one cup. So, 
we're going to fix these together. And then we will have 100 spirits inside of this lad. So we're going to just do that. And I'm hoping this tastes good too, because I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just winging it. I don't know if you ever had a Kim's number one cup, but it's like this like kind of fruity and earth. It's not terribly earthy, but it's like kind of a, it's a liqueur. Um, it is just like a Great Britain secret liqueur. I, you know, I'd have to check out Wikipedia for how they recommend or how they uh, describe it. And maybe I will. Maybe I'll check that out. I just bought it for this cocktail I made when I was in Kentucky for um, an event. I found a cocktail on Four Roses website. It was like Four Roses, a little bit of this, a little ginger beer, a little lemon juice, a little simple, a little na -na -na, you know, a little this and that. And... I think also it said peach nectar, but I did actually 99 peaches and made my own iteration of this beverage. You can find it on Four Roses website. It was called the Peach Rose. I can't remember if I renamed it or if I just called it that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't usually try to uh, rename things that I've kind of co-opted and manipulated um, ever so slightly. It's like, it's not quite plagiarism, but it's not especially original either. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this. Because we got the 99, and there's the one. So, to Eve. I'm not going to drink from that, because that was funny. I was about, <laughs> that looked like I was doing a cheers with that, didn't it? So, to Eve, the man with 100 accents. We will never know, because the video's gone. Who knows? Maybe he did do 100 accents, and you missed it. You blew it. You missed Unis Honest. Like, ugh. <laughs> so, anyways. Get a little swirl. Mm. Oh, that smells divine. <laughs> Might just be the 99 mangoes. That stuff just always smells good, so. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. That would do well with a little something fizzy. I have a two liter ginger ale, but I'm not gonna crack it open for just a splash. But we're just gonna sip on this because I just got off work and I don't work tomorrow. Cheers to Eve. And you have a wonderful evening. I'll see you tomorrow.